So it's been a hot minute since we had an update in the smart glasses world. And in fact, I've personally never tried a pair. A few years ago, a bunch of companies were throwing their hats into the ring, but they just never really took off. And so enter TCL. They've just released their Nextwear G smart glasses and were kind enough to send me a pair along with their new TCL 20 Pro 5G smartphone to unbox and test on the channel. Now, because they're sponsoring this video, what you're about to watch will not be a review. It'll just be an unboxing and showcase of their product. But with that said, let's get unboxing. Okay, so as far as unboxings go, it's a pretty sleek yet minimal experience. A matte black box opened via a magnetized lid, and then inside we have this TCL branded hard shell carry case. Once you've unzipped that, inside you'll find the glasses along with the attached cable, which is thankfully USB-C. Now I actually missed this next part when I first opened the case, but there's also this hidden compartment in the top section of the carry case, which houses a cleaning cloth for keeping the glasses clean. And then also this custom fit lens adapter if you happen to wear prescription glasses. There's also some spare nose bridges in here, which you can swap out to fit your nose a bit better. Now, first impressions of the glasses are okay, very interesting. But let's put them aside for one moment though and quickly run through the phone. So it's actually a special edition TCL 20 Pro 5G that's been designed to work perfectly with the Nextwear G smart glasses. It's got a pretty sleek design. There's no camera bump. It features a curved AMOLED screen with a center hole punch. It's also got an in-display fingerprint sensor, which is very nice. And the camera has optical image stabilization, which should help out for low light photography. So firing it up and the first thing I noticed was this smart glasses app on the home screen. And when you launch into that, it instructs you to connect up to the glasses, which I did. Then once you do that, you'll get two options here for the type of content you want to view. A PC mode, which is kind of like the Samsung Dex service where you get an entirely different UI, more like a Windows machine. And in this mode, you use the phone as a touchpad. You can also hook up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to really make this feel like a full on PC experience for maximum productivity. And in this mode, the glasses transform into a monitor of sorts. In addition to PC mode, you also get a mirror mode, which does exactly what the name suggests. You see whatever is on your phone's display mirrored on the glasses. And so after a bit of playing around with the phone and the Nextwear glasses, I've got to say they are surprisingly satisfying to view content on. The glasses make for a much more immersive viewing experience compared to just watching something on the phone. And they do offer a great balance of private and peripheral vision. So it's kind of like watching a big TV in that way. They house two full HD micro OLED displays from Sony with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And the glasses have actually been designed to give you a display perspective of 140 inches, which is huge. Really like a massive cinema screen, which is why it feels so immersive. There's also built-in speakers right near where your ears are, so no need to connect up Bluetooth earphones or anything. Although keep in mind, they do emit a decent level of sound. So hooking up some earphones actually might be a solid option if anyone else is in the near vicinity. Now, one other thing worth mentioning is that you can't actually see the real world through the glasses, even without content on the screen. And that's because they are not designed to be an AR headset. They're essentially a second screen for your smartphone or laptop. With that said, they have an open fit, which means you can look forward to view your content, but then you can simply look up or down to see what's happening around you. For me, I think a real exciting use case of these glasses is travel related, particularly when international travel becomes a thing again and we're doing some long haul flights, or even if I'm going on a long car trip with the family, kids are sleeping in the back, the wife is having her turn at driving, having a pair of these glasses will come in very handy for consuming content. But even just being at home, the fact that I can wear these next wear glasses to watch my own big screen content, but also sit right next to my wife who's watching her own thing on the home TV, I reckon that's A+. Plus. Beyond all that, the glasses are actually compatible with over 100 different devices, believe it or not. And they do work with both Samsung DeX or EMUI desktop, which is pretty neat. And thanks to the glasses peripheral vision, if you're using a physical keyboard or mouse in combination with the glasses, you can still see them, which really does mean you could get away with using the glasses as a full 
desktop replacement, depending on the style of work you're completing. So really, there are loads of ways that you can use the glasses. But aside from that, that's it for this unboxing and brief overview of the Nexwear G Smart Glasses from TCL. And let me know down in the comments below what you would use these glasses for if you owned a pair. Thanks again to TCL for supporting the channel. If you wanna learn more about these glasses or the TCL 20 Pro 5G, then I'll leave relevant links down in the description below. And in fact, the glasses are now officially available here in Australia. So if you live in Australia, you could actually be the first to experience the Nextwear G glasses. So I'll also leave relevant Australian links below as well. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later.